Hello everyone, it's Belle and Tez and we're from Two Faced Radio exclusively on UIC Radio. Today we're interviewing Camp Caller. This is Camp Caller. Can you guys introduce yourselves and what instruments you play? Uh, my name is Matthew. I play keys and sometimes guitar. Uh, I'm Leonardo. I, I go by Leo and I play bass and guitar but for Camp Caller I am on guitar duty. I'm Chris uh, and I'm playing bass from yeah. And do you guys have any members that are not present right now? Yeah, our drummer Diego sadly cannot make it because he's on a field trip right now. But we might face that. <laughs> if, we, if we have some pressing questions, we can follow yeah. up. And we also have our uh, lead guitarist, Elisha, who's on their way. If they show up, then they'll pop right in. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the band and how you got to where you are right now. Yeah, so. Um, basically, Camp Collar was like my solo project, just like songs from my Google Drive. And I'm like, damn, I haven't uploaded these, so I'm gonna upload them. <laughs> um, but I wasn't really, um, I, was, I was just slowly releasing my old songs. And then I was thinking like, dang, I haven't done music stuff in a while. And like Battle Dance was coming around, so I, I reached out to like people I had played music with before. Um, Leo I've been playing with since high school. Um, Chris I met from some like Instagram chat <laughs> and he yeah. ended up going to the school. <laughs> I went to like my friends, our friend Noble, we played an open mic with. It was his like pilot school graduation ceremony that oh. was also an open mic jam wow. and someone added me to like a, a jam group chat so then he was in there. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I'm like, hey, you know who you see? So you both know a pilot too? Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Uh, I got added to the group chat when I went on to it. I used to go to like Guitar Center sometimes just mm -hmm. to like play and socialize with people. And one time I went there, I met a group of people who were in the group chat as well. They added me. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. so nice. And then Alesha, who's not here, I met them through the Filipino org I joined since freshman year. And they're so crazy on guitar. Every time they play, I'm like, <laughs> This is not fair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and Diego, I also knew since high school. We've been playing all the time. Open mic soup. Yeah. Awesome. Explore each other's spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Like, so I awesome. love that it's come together now because we're really excited to see you guys at Battle of the Bands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Tell us a little bit about your creative process. Mm. Ooh, I, I think it's kind of interesting because, like, a lot of these songs, only like two, two are released right now mm. that we're going to be playing at the show. Okay. Um, but some of them, I think they were mainly like ones I made on my own. One of them, I just had like Elisha over and they played like two chords and I'm like, yeah, sounds cool. Let me leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as we like meet, meet up to rehearse, everyone like kind of fits in ideas um, for the creative process. I don't know if we're like, what to lie. Like, you pulled out some like harmonic thing and like, what the? This shit is so, no, so nice. Spoiling, <laughs> my bad. My fault. No, this is what we want to hear. <laughs> yeah. Giving people what they want. Yeah. And then there was also like a solo section for one of the songs. And I recorded it at UIC in like this really crowded area called the atrium oh. where people just study. <laughs> um, but it was just going into the interface, so it didn't get background noise. But I just like exported the stems and had a project file on my school laptop. And I was recording like the parts I spliced together so with that. Wow. So UIC has been a big part of your creative process. I love this place. <laughs> going to be cooking up here. <laughs> yeah, this, is a, this could be your new studio, honestly. Do you have any like musical inspirations, either artists or songs that really mm -hmm. stick out to you? Yeah, I think we could maybe go around the table because oh, we yeah. all kind of like pitch in. But I think like there was one song that we were gonna play, and I just the project file was named Viva Doobie. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking of that song, like she plays bass, um, oh. and just the tuning of that song, I've just been messing around with it a lot. Um, and then another one of the songs, I'm kind of inspired by like this our Asian artist Monsoon or Monsune. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how it's pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> but um. And he, he works with a lot of like old soul samples, which I really like. That's yeah. very cool. Um, a lot of my like playing for Camp Caller, this is kind of like not directly related to my musical inspirations, but I mean, it still like has helped me be a better musician. I think like Bill Evans, I love Bill Evans, mm. uh, great piano player. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a big jazz fan and I'm out mm. on time to play a lot of jazz. And so that has kind of like informed the way I uh, kind of view the guitar mm -hmm. but you know uh, I kind of know that we're playing kind of more pop and so I, I I don't I don't draw from anybody specifically I think I draw more from Camp Collar to play pop than like anybody else oh, just because like, like it's so like awesome. um 
Uh, I, I, don't, I don't play pop, so it's like I actually draw from what he's done, like his own personal music. So I guess you are my music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, it, it's like I'll see what he does, and I'm like, okay, well, it's not playing over his song mm-hmm. that he made. You know, I kind of wanted to fit, and I think the, what I'm most proud of is like the, the lead line. I play yeah. over. Uh, I forgot. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that one. It's it's stuck in my head. It's so naturally, and it feels like something that will like go in like all the other songs too. So, you know. That's awesome. Before I really like met Matthew, I was in like a completely separate realm of music. I don't know. I played a lot of and like learned a lot of songs, mostly in like the metal and like more technical, progressive side of stuff. Cool. But I kind of fused that with like some funk groups that I also like mm-hmm. and uh, try to apply it to his more like pop sensibilities. I don't try to like go too crazy, but I try to you know make the parts at least interesting and add a level of complexity to it that I can appreciate other bassists can appreciate while still you know holding down the song it's true uh, whenever he plays I'm like damn <laughs> you know as a bass player I, I, I appreciate it a lot especially because like for my bass playing I take like a lot from Motown but you know I'm not playing for him mm-hmm. you know <laughs> but uh, you know so like I get to appreciate like the funk in it yeah, you know, I'm like oh my wow it's like really funky <laughs> yeah that, and that goes like right into pop too it's just like oh, yeah. people, what people want to hear do you guys have anything like what's your favorite part about performing live we haven't done it oh really <laughs> like, like all our, together this is our first show <gasps> no um, way i used to be in a uh, band over the summer with uh tommy and or with diego and Alessa for mm-hmm. tommy 135 and that was kind of fun um but let's recall I've, I've all played with these guys on separate occasions the only like real gig i played with chris was like one song for a park gig like really last second it was the day of uic spark no way <laughs> um and i like our, our bass player was missing so i like messaged him like you want to come by <laughs> but i think my favorite part at least when i was playing a lot of shows like i really like seeing like my friends <laughs> just like come through or like it'd be like really like random people i'm like why what are you doing here like my friend from like like seventh grade came by i'm like no way oh, <laughs> well, why, why are you here that's what you get when you're famous <laughs> people want to come <laughs> see you more <laughs> So what about you guys? What do you like about performing? Um, it's better than performing alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like with other people, uh, the anxiety goes away. I mean, I don't think I'll be looking at the crowd, you know, but, but like, <laughs> but, but like, you know, it, it's a lot better because like at least you can look at them yeah. and have like your anxiety go away. And also if I find myself, you know, it's like, it's not like, whoa, everything stops. You know, totally. So you know, just let's wait on me. But you know, I'll still be responsible. I'm not completely like, <laughs> irresponsible. But, yeah. So I have a big question. Why do you think you guys should win Battle of the Bands? <laughs> because we're awesome. Man. <laughs> we're awesome. <laughs> yeah. We're the best. I mean. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know because I hear there's gonna be like I've, I've heard whisperings that there's like eight bands this year. Is there? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's like Who knows? top secret Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I actually don't, just don't know oh, okay. <laughs> But we'll all find out the day of So yeah. I think I think our strongest suits is like We all like have I mean music is a language And we all have like very diverse backgrounds mm-hmm. And like I feel like I love the process of when we're like Bouncing ideas off of each other And like just like throwing stuff at the wall And seeing what sticks um, I feel like a lot of where we came from like shaped us and like you um speaking for myself like i can see parts where like i feel like i'm drawing from like other bands i played with before like mm-hmm. hey this is kind of like a cool thing they did whether it's like the structure of the rehearsal or like in the structure of the song itself mm-hmm. um so i think like a lot of us have really deep experience and that shows in us music that's beautiful do you have any music that's coming out you said you already have two songs released but do you have anything else that we can look forward to yeah the last song i released was um called love to lie with you which we may play about oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta give it you, 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 you gotta teach it but you don't to <laughs> um but i think uh that's gonna be part of um i guess a bigger i guess debut album mm-hmm. cool. called pinocchio oh my gosh. do you know when we can look forward to hearing that um probably Maybe end of April, I oh. think, or oh. end of April or like mid May. So it's coming okay. soon. Yeah, that's super soon. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. But this is a live show. Do you want to introduce yourself and what instrument you play? Yeah. 
Hi, my name is Elisha and I play guitar. That's awesome. I've seen you play before and you were shredding. You were crazy. <laughs> I was like in the front row and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot, but we already asked the rest of them, do you have a favorite part of performing? Oh, I guess I really like playing with other people. Like with them individually, I feel like we connect differently like on stage and I like just looking at them. Is that what I heard? Yeah, really? <laughs> it's unanimous. There, there was one time, I don't know if you remember the specific jam session, but we were playing a song, and it was, that's probably a two problem. But you land on the one chord, and then you went, ba, ba, da, and you like, went to the sharp one, major seven, and then like, I cop, I, I stared at you and laughed, and then I copied it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so sick. That's so cute. It's cool that you guys can like, bounce off each other even when you're performing like yeah. I don't play music so it's like very foreign to me but it's really cool and honestly anytime I see anyone perform live I think it's the coolest thing ever even if it's like arguably not that good so that's what I'm excited for Battle of the Bands because it's under live performances <laughs> what type of music do you guys like to listen to like outside of your band so I, I, I jazz I love listening to jazz like mm -hmm. I said Beloved um mm -hmm. I think it's like my main one then I also love listening to like my Mexican music, cause, mm -hmm. you know, it's the like culture. Shout out an artist. Yeah. And also Hatsune Miku. I love Hatsune Miku. True. <laughs> Hatsune Miku is a part. And any Hatsune Miku like producers, you know, <laughs> they're awesome. Awesome. I gotta shout out Bolivia. I mean, they're probably like my biggest influence for playing and like maintaining complexity while still finding some sort of like melody or groove in it. And then re recently, but like pretty consistently throughout my life. I've listened to like J-pop. Mm -hmm. So anything, any music coming out of Japan, whether that's like instrumental, like indie, or like the uh, loud synth heavy, big band instrumental stuff, everything from Japan is amazing. So yeah, love that. Um, recently I've been into older R&B mm -hmm. and just like soul music, I guess. And I also like fusion. Um, I guess, I don't know what genre Stevie Wonder is, but Stevie Wonder just has like a good mix. Oh yeah. Like everything, <laughs> so I really like it. Thanks. I think for me, I like listening to indie music. <laughs> so, yeah, so we in the indie band. <laughs> uh, you gotta stay consistent. Yeah, I like this band uh, called Happiness. They got like a tiny desk. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just be whatever like tiny desk is stuck in my head for like the week. <laughs> I love tiny desk. Tiny that's where I get so like amazing. all of my new music. Yeah. Yeah. Ward is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I like Dijon. Love um, Dijon. Dijon. <laughs> he doesn't have a tiny desk, but he has some crazy live performances. Yes. Yeah. We saw Dijon in the summer. It was like the best thing I'm so jealous, ever. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. We saw with Diego. Yeah. I always saw that Pittsburgh, bro. Uh, what does your ideal audience look like? when you're performing? Mm. Like, what do you want them to be doing? I think, oh, okay. I remember one time I was playing a show back in the Ugly Nate days at Diego's Cafe. Um, it was back when we used to like play my songs. Um, but I remember the crowd was just like, like going, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, awesome. it, was, it was Diego Dude. going that way. <laughs> um, but that's it made me smile so much. Um, as to what like my audience might look like, um, I guess like, it's very cheesy, but like I mentioned before, I love seeing my friends or like unexpected faces. Mm -hmm. I've seen them a lot. Um, so yeah, everyone else. I liked it when we did our open mics, when like someone would play a sad song, and then people would do this. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's classic. I never know when to stop. Oh, so yeah. like, it's all, it's all, I'm like, I don't want to be the first one to, to take it down, but I don't want to be the last one keeping it up. That's, that's like awful as a person in the audience, but yeah. it is fun. It is. Do you ever get blinded <laughs> without the lights? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. I mean, sometimes I'm just looking at my keyboard. So like, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I need to work on that. You're like kind contact. of in the middle of something. Yeah, I got, I got to work on that eye contact. But I feel like every time that I see you perform, like I'm always like, Matthew. And I'm always like, no, like he's in a groove. Like I see it. I see you locked in right now. It's yeah. beautiful. You, you yeah. were even locked in when uh, the stand broke. When it, yeah, oh. when I came up and I, I kneeled on the stage oh. and I held up the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was, that was a memory. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? What do you want the, the crowd doing while you're performing? Um, I like when they go like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> a little interaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I like seeing happy faces, <laughs> uh, impressed faces, people who visibly enjoy it. I don't know. People yeah. express themselves differently, so as long as I can tell they enjoy themselves. Not me. I want them to be frowning. <laughs> <laughs> Very I want pensive. them angry. Why are you friends more like frowning? You want them to yeah. be throwing tomatoes at you? Yeah. <laughs> we'll bring tomatoes just in case. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a starving artist. I got, I get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any songs that you really like to cover together? Ooh. <laughs> Missy, the older of the week. Um, Saint Denis Gospel. Oh my god. <laughs> the over jam song. But I think we always end up playing Pink and White. <laughs> <laughs> Great song. Yeah. It's like a classic at this point. Three chords. <laughs> Facts. 251 MC. That one also was really chords. I've been playing that with him since I'm, I met him. No way. Really? Just like, <laughs> very simple Oh, that's so sweet. A very first conversation was about Persona 5. Yeah, no, Persona 3. <laughs> Persona 3. <laughs> no, it meant Emily here. It was one of Persona Shin Megami Tensei. Do you guys want to call Diego? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's, phone a, let's phone a friend. Oh, so he's actually right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you guys Come in, Diego! He's <laughs> actually hanging on the ceiling. <laughs> How good are you guys Photoshop skills? <laughs> <laughs> bad. Like, really bad. Okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Diego! Hi, Hi Diego. We got hey, the squad. Wait, we have a question for you. Okay, okay. N say your name and what instrument you play. My name and what instrument I play. <laughs> my name. Hi guys. My name is Diego. I play drums. And I'm sure somebody get hit by a car. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I'm Diego and I play drums. Diego, where do you pull your musical influence from? <laughs> this is uh, in like, in what sense? In drumming? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know the French jazz band Cortex? Mm. Yes. He said French. I thought he was going to say Daft Punk. <laughs> well, no, okay. Well, no, that's because like in terms of like drumming, the only reason, well, not the only reason, but like, I guess the main drummer like I really listen to was that guy and I remember like learning how to play the drums like like on my own like in high school and the first thing I wanted to learn was this main drum fill from one of their like one of their songs called mm. Weeks Octubre uh, wow. I think it's more to name it, I forgot what it's called <laughs> and and that main drum fill was played on that album and I wanted to learn it so that's yeah. so cool do you have anything you want to say to the people uh Stream camp caller. I love being a USC student. You know, uh, it feels good going to the school. Uh, shout out to, hey, go Flames. Go Flames. Shout out to um, And yeah, I, I love I love this school. Good school. I, I feel honored to be a student here. Thank you, yeah. Diego. Thanks, thanks for being here, Diego. Of course. Thank you, guys. Love you, Diego. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> Bye, Diego. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for interviewing if you had a chance to sit down with us we're really excited to see you at battle of the bands mm -hmm. uh, do you have any closing remarks for the people don't forget to camp your powers <laughs> awesome yeah. well we'll see you <laughs> at battle of the bands and we're so excited thank you guys Thanks.